and welcome back to crypto coins in this video i might have the complete guide of how to buy roma dow and stake it so what you first need is a metamask wallet i was trying to figure out how to do this with trust wallet and i wasn't able to figure it out so you're gonna need a metamask wallet if you don't have one then after you're gonna need kucoin kucoin is where you buy the native token necessary to swap for rome um they don't need your personal information you just make an account, you put your email, some passcodes, and you're good to go. They don't need any personal information. You need a KuCoin account, and we're going to buy the native token here uh, to swap for RomDAO. So you need to buy either Bitcoin or uh, any other coin with low fees to transfer, with low gas fees. Uh, avoid Ethereum by all costs. Um, I had some AVAX in one of my wallets, so... I transferred AVAX C chain out here to KuCoin so that I can then uh, sell it for USDT. And then we're going to use USDT to buy the Moon River coin. In order to buy Rome Dow, we need the Moon River coin, and which we can find here on KuCoin. So now we open our KuCoin app. I had transferred some AVAX and uh, sold it for USDT. And once I had USDT, we're gonna buy the MOVR token. I input my order and the transaction is pending, got filled there. And I was gonna continue to use uh, my phone app to transfer this Moon River token out into uh, my wallet, but I had difficulties doing it through the phone. So I just did it through the web browser that made it a lot easier. We go to the web browser, we go to withdrawals, and then um, I had to set up um, some passcodes here. So it's gonna prompt you. Uh, you have to add additional verification so that you can do withdrawals in KuCoin. So then um, you press here to send verification to your email. And once you get that number, you input the address here. And then uh, it's now asking me for a two factor authentication verification. So I scanned it with my Google uh, two factor authentication app. And once I had all that set up, then it did allow me to be able to transfer my funds out. So, um, it's very secure, but it does require a lot of authentications, which is good. So now we go back to withdraw and we type in here, our, uh, symbol here, moon river. So M O V R. And now we're ready to input our address and information to which wallet. So we open up our MetaMask, we copy our address and we go back to KuCoin and we paste our address here. Now I select the coin, Moon River here, and now I cannot transfer it out. So it was good that this happened during this tutorial because uh, maybe you'll run into this problem. Uh, KuCoin has two sets of wallets or, or, or two places where they store um, your currency. So your main wallet in a trading wallet. So you just wanna transfer uh, the funds from your trading wallet to your uh, main wallet there so that you'll be able to transfer this out. And the same thing, when you transfer tokens into KuCoin, you have to transfer those coins into your trading wallet so that you can trade them. So uh, it has both of them integrated there. So now I'm trying to transfer these out um, I click here, send, so it can send me the email verification. And then, um, I'm going to enter the two factor authentication from my, uh, Google app. And as I was doing this, uh, this popped up, I didn't record this part, but, uh, I'm entering a passcode that you have to manually put. This is nothing to do with in the authentication code. This is a pin code that you create with KuCoin. So uh, I did not video that, but those were some steps when I went to the settings and I set up the settings to withdraw. One thing I want to mention, most of these transactions just cost a few pennies, but when you do transfer your Moon River token to your MetaMask, KuCoin charges you about a $9 fee. I paid about $8 and something cents. So that is the biggest fee from all of these transactions between uh, swapping and exchanging and staking. Uh, KuCoin is charging you somewhere close to $9 to withdraw uh, your Moon River token 
out of their exchange. So just note that. Before we transfer out the Moon River coin, we want to make sure we have the Moon River network. All reference links will be under the description of this video. So you scroll down here, get started, and you click here, connect to MetaMask. This will automatically install the network for you and it makes it fairly easy. So, so I already have it connected. So uh, you go to connect MetaMask, uh, MetaMask uh, prompts you and it tells you if you want to add the network and you just continue, continue, to, uh, continue and uh, it will do it automatically for you. Now, if you want to manually input the parameters, uh, you put uh, here it is at the bottom. The network name is Moon River. The RPC URL is here. Chain ID is 1285. Now, I was trying to test it out manually as well. And um, I was trying to put this whole um, ID here and I couldn't. I couldn't put this section. Maybe you're, you're just supposed to put the 1285. I'm just confused why they're also adding this hex here. And um, I couldn't copy paste this whole thing. So I wasn't able to manually do it for that reason. Maybe you just need to do the 1285. But if that's the case, I don't know why they added this here. Uh, so a little confusing there. Then the symbol is MOVR and the block explorer is here. That's how you add the Moon River network into your MetaMask. Now that we have it set up, we can transfer the Moon River coin into your MetaMask and get it ready for swapping. Once we receive the coin on MetaMask, then we want to go to SolarBeam. This is the exchange necessary to buy RomeDAO. We click here, launch app. You connect your wallet up here. So once you connect here, you select Moon River and Rome, the trading pair, and that's how you buy uh, Rome. Now the fees are very inexpensive. It's just a few cents. So it's literally pennies. So it's very inexpensive. Once you have the Rome token, then you want to go to Rome DAO. Uh, you want to go to the Rome DAO website and you click here to settings and you could add S Rome and you could add Rome to your wallet here. So it makes it fairly easy for you to add the token. You click here, it prompts you, MetaMask pops up and it tells you if you want to add the token, you press add token. I already added, so I'm not going to do that. And you add the token. So you don't have to do any more um, contract ID or the name or decimals. You don't have to do that. They made it fairly easy with uh, Solar Beam and uh, the site here having uh, the code necessary for you to just add it simply by clicking here. So they made it easy in that sense. Now that you have them added to your wallet, you'll have uh, on your MetaMask, you'll see what your balances are here. So it most likely won't have any Moon River, only Rome. And um, maybe a little bit, uh, obviously have a little bit of Moon River so that you can pay for gas fees, but gas fees are literally pennies. So you don't need a lot. I always leave like $5 and then here's your Rome token. Now, once you want to stake your Rome token, go to stake and um, I'll tell you how many uh, Rome tokens you have. You can press max as many as you want and you press stake. Now, once you press stake, um, it's going to charge you some fees to approve the tran transaction. And um, so you approve them on. It's going to prompt you through MetaMask. And these transactions, at least when I was doing it earlier today, because maybe the network was congested, it was very slow. So even though you approve it, you're going to probably have to wait. I think I was I waited about 30 minutes the first time I did it. I don't know if it's still slow. It might it might have sped up by now, but it took me about 30 minutes for that approval to happen. And then you have to do it again to stake it. So one is like an approval and then you have to wait until your MetaMask confirms it and everything's confirmed. And then you're, you'll are you be able to stake, uh, put the max again and then press stake. And then that will be the actual staking process. And that one also took a few minutes. So it's not instant. At least it was in this morning. Even when I bought through SolarBeam, when I did this transaction, that transaction was also slow. So you just have to be patient. You have to go to your wallet and just make sure that um, uh, you have the transactions pending there. And that's how uh, you buy and stake Rome. If you found any value or this helped you in any way, join my Patreon and support this channel. You can also check out the links under the description for Discord and you can get a copy of my calculator. That's going to do it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one.